What is a stacked leather heel and how does it wear over time? It's a good question, y'all. Let's dive in. Cowboy boots are traditionally made with what's called a stacked leather heel. That means you have layers of leather that are stacked on top of each other and then nailed together and attached to the rest of the boot. Again, that's if it's made properly. Some manufacturers today are using synthetic heels are made of plastic or other resins and they're gluing them on and they'll just pop right off. So at Chisos, we nail all the way through that stack of leather and nail it into the core boot. This is going to ensure that you've got longevity and stability in that heel, which again, you're walking on every single day. It also means that a cobbler can replace that heel when the time comes. One thing to point out here is that a lot of times when, you're, when your boot wears down, you'll wear through the sole. And of course this, if it's properly made, can be resold. And you have a, what's called a rubber heel cap here on the heel. This can be peeled off and replaced without having to replace the entire stack of leather. And so depending on how much wear you put into it, uh, at some points you may just replace the heel cap, other times you replace the entire heel. Now let's take a look at what to expect when you first get your pair of cowboy boots and how that stacked leather heel is going to look. This is where we will zoom in. So if you look closely on the boot, you'll be able to see the different layers of leather that are put together. You know, some people mistakenly think this is wood uh, or some other hard material, but no, it's, it's leather. And if it's good leather, it's gonna be veg tanned uh, and probably center cut or right around the center cut. Uh, our soles tend to come from the center cut and then we cut around the, the excess pieces we use for our heels, which is pretty standard when it comes to handcrafted cowboy boots. Now, some boots will have a plastic heel rand here on the top. This is a piece that sits on top of the heel. This is where your spurs might go. And it tends to make the boot, again, look uniform or, or smooth it out and it hides over any imperfections. We don't do that. Uh, we like the natural look. We, l we like using natural organic materials as much as possible in everything that we do. When you first get your pair of Chisos boots, this heel stack may not be perfectly flat on the top. It will have ribbing or other sorts of things that look like imperfections on the top. They are not. They are the natural contours of the piece of leather that was used. We don't put a piece of plastic on top to hide that variation. The other thing is when you look closely, there are layers of leather and they are nailed together from the inside. And so the rigidity and the stability and the integrity of that heel comes from the interior. So as you use it, it may flex and some of the dye that we use on the outside may show little gaps or may start to crack where those layers meet. It is not a question of integrity of the heel. You're not getting moisture into the main part of the boot. It's not reducing the the, uh, the longevity of that boot, again, because it's being held together from the inside. If you don't like that, what you can do is just get some edge dressing and touch it up. Sometimes when I polish my boots, I will go and do another layer of edge dressing on the edge of the sole and the welt and down here on the stacked leather heel. And that will cover up those those little differences and those little those lines that show up. However, my ultimate recommendation is to embrace them. You know, you want your boot to look like it's been used and been worn. That patina is part of what makes wearing cowboy boots so special. 